America is going to be exposed for the rape, rob, and murder that they inflict on the true Israelites. How do you guys feel about America? Do you guys want to make America great again? He's an army vet. He's an army vet. An air force vet. I have a question for the air force vet. What are you doing in those people's lands and why? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, can't really understand you. What, what were you doing in those people's lands? Oh, why I stayed in the United States. I went to Alaska and here, and that was it. Okay, okay. So, so how do you feel about the 200 army bases that are U.S. army bases that are spread across America? Don't you feel like that's a bit invasive and intrusive? Not at all. About the freedom I'm all for our military. Guy. I think our military should be twice as big as what it is. So you think it should be twice as big? Absolutely. Do you understand? Do you un do you understand the, the innocent blood that the military spills in these other nations? Right, bring it out. You see that? The white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's right. right. The white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Didn't they say one nation under God? So basically what he's saying is that God is okay with bombing colored people. They're not going over there and bombing Britain. They're not going and bombing the Netherlands. They're not going and bombing Ireland. They're going and bombing the colored nations. That's why these colored nations are going to get together in the kingdom of heaven and be whipping the white man's back. Okay, because everybody hates the white man. The Arab man hates the white man. The Chinese man hates the white man. The beast of the You see the whales and the lions. Even. The sun hates the white man. They go into the sun and get skin cancer. All right, let's pray that he goes home and gets cancer. But I assume you know what's going Psalm 37, 34. I'm a great power. Keep your keep your dog on the leash now. Go ahead. I'll see the wicked in great power uh -huh. and spreading himself like a green bay tree. You see that? That was prophecy. He said, I wish my military was two times bigger. Right. I just wish we could go and just drop by and take anybody's land because we left Europe because we didn't have anything. We didn't have any resources. We was in the Caucasus Mountains. See, he said everything that maybe we should go back to the Caucasus Mountains. All right. Go on. Two, four. Behold, the soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. So it isn't because he's right. It's because God created his spirit to be wicked, to be not right. He's just not right. Hold on. But the just shall live by his faith. Uh -huh. Yea, also, because he transgresses by wrong, he is a proud man. He's a proud man. They don't give a damn about the damage the millions of, 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 of riches, the millions of dead bodies, the millions of square mile lands that they have stolen. They don't give a damn about it. And this is why the most high not going to give a damn about it when he is Neither keep it at home. Neither what? Neither keep it at home. The white man can't stay at home. He wants garrisons everywhere. All right? Hey, let me ask you a question. Where was America great? Nineteen ten before segregation, right? So how did America how, how was how was how was people able to come here and make this place great? Was it just given to you to make great? Did they say, here, upgrade this, upgrade this and make it great? How did you get this place to even try to make it great? That's your question, right? Have you ever heard of something called Bloody Summer Red? I'm sorry? Bloody Summer Red. No. Bloody Summer Red was a summertime during 1910 to 1919 where white people rallied together and killed hundreds of thousands of black people. Yeah, okay, so, so you want to go back to that era, right? No, I want to go before that. You said 1910. 14th Amendment is? When did that pass? And when, and when did it, when did it actually like, was it after? When it was like, we were able to exercise that? So you wanted to go back to the time where we couldn't even vote. No, 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 no. 
I want to you said that. I want to eliminate that, that aspect. We want to go where we actually have equality rather than all the absolute nonsense. I'm here to eliminate equality in the existence of America. Well, we've had equality in the period between 1875 and 1890. 1875. Are you familiar with Jim Crow laws? Jim Crow laws actually were. Okay, so, so the 13th Amendment, how is the 13th Amendment established? Well, the 13th Amendment was established in 1870. Cool, what is the 13th Amendment? The 13th Amendment is that the 13th Amendment is slavery is legal if you commit a crime. So you want to go back to the time where slavery was legal over the minor offenses, over the vagrant laws, over the loitering uh, uh, laws, and any other little thing that a black man did would get him thrown in jail when they were exercising the 13th Amendment. That's the, when was America ever great for black people? Good question. Uh, well, the 13th Amendment was actually passed in 12 years of slave. So the time from 17 that you quoted from 1776, which is you know the antebellum period, the antebellum period where they had the minstrel shows, where they 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 dressed up like black people with the big noses, and the, that's the time period you want to go back to, where they're mocking black people and dancing like the fans. That's the time. That's how you want to make America great again. Do you know they were kidnapping slaves from the north and taking them to the south? You see that? So the hat that you stands for, really, the hat that you're wearing really just stands for let's oppress, white, rob, murder, and enslave black, Hispanics, and Native Americans again. That's right. I agree. So actually, what you're pushing for is to kill blacks, Hispanics, and all that by oppression. No, I'm I'm pushing for justice. Are you a man of justice? Okay, so if 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 you were robbing, if you steal a whole nation, a whole land, and you kill 100 million people, what what should happen? Okay, so the Jewish people, did they get reparations? They actually did. <laughs> they, got, they got reparations, but the Japanese got reparations. Not yes, they did. Have black people gotten any reparations? Do you believe in the Bible? I'm sorry? Do you believe in the Bible? You do. You're a Christian? I am. You're a Christian? Yes. What is Christian? What, what, is it, what does the word Christian mean? Give me an answer to this. Give me an answer to this 2021. Let's, let's read the Bible. I want to see if you agree with the Bible. All right. Yeah, Exodus 21 19. Bring it out. Because you said, let's see what justice is. Well, who's the ultimate judge? Okay, well, let's see what the Bible says. Go ahead. Would you agree that the African American man was stolen from, from West Africa and brought here? Okay, so do you believe that slavery is okay according to God? Okay, so would you believe that, let's just say, we were sold to, you, to your ancestors and you guys kidnapped us as well. Because starting in 1441, we have the documents where Prince Henry from Portugal, they came and they, they kidnapped the first link. Before any neighboring tribe started selling anybody else, a white man came and kidnapped them. So let's see what the Bible says about stealing a man in slavery. Go ahead. Book of Exodus chapter 21 verse 16. And he that stealeth a man, he that what? Stealeth a man, he that steals a man, right? And selleth him, 
and sells him because when you guys kidnapped, you stole, and then when we got here, you went to places like the Port of Nashes in Mississippi, and then you sold them to local white slave owners on the plantation. Go ahead. Or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. So you're saying... No, 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 no. God is saying... God is saying... He asked a great question in case in case in case you're getting here. What's your question? Make it quick. Uh, wasn't it the East Indian Trading Company that actually perpetrated all that? Yeah. If that's the case, should the Dutch be the ones paying the reparations? Everybody had a hand in it. It was the Dutch, the British, it was the uh, the, uh, the the Portuguese, the Spanish, the Arabs built the ships, the Jews funded Christopher Columbus. So everybody had a hand in it. I'm not just singling you guys out. You guys are the representatives of your nation. Therefore, you're on trial right now. Right. So, Go ahead. Instead of having you, absolute peace with everyone included, you are looking to raise wage wages. Why is that? A lot of too much commotion. Give me the. No, 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 no. Not, not you. Not you. Not you. I'm talking about back here. Oh, okay. So you, I want you to hold that question because you said uh, we should just all be peaceful, right? Okay, so I want to answer that question, but you said, why should you have to pay for what happened 100 years ago? No, so, not 100 years ago. We're talking 600 years ago. 600 years ago. Okay, great, great, great. So does justice have the expiration date? No, it doesn't, but the two seconds, I'm 25 years old. I did not. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Brandon. Brandon? We're going to call you Snake, because you're, you're talking you're talking oh, with a fourth okay. tongue. Right. Brandon, you're talking with a fourth tongue. So I have to, I have to call it like I see it, a snake, a slithering slime and serpent. Huh? <laughs> well, you just said you believed in the Bible, so let me see how you feel about this. Go ahead. Book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. You should, you feel like you shouldn't have to pay for the sins of your forefathers. Okay, come on, go ahead. Prepare slaughter. Do what? Prepare slaughter. What does it mean to prepare a slaughter? Prepare slaughter is to prepare those that will be slaughtered. Okay, go ahead. For his children. For his who? For his children. For himself. For his children. Go ahead. For the iniquity. For the sins. Of their fathers. Of their fathers. That's right. So you have to get paid back. No, no, wait, the Bible says that. That's the Old Testament. Give me Revelation 13. Bring it all right, let's show, let's show, let's show, let's show, let's show the New Testament. Go ahead. Okay. Revelation. There's no way out of this, uh, Brandon. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Revelation 13, 10. Revelation is the last book of the Bible. Go ahead. Do you that. know who wrote it? Who wrote Revelation? That was John. John, he knows a little something. Go ahead. Oh, I know a little something. That's Look, awesome. the serpent knew a lot too in the garden. Go ahead. He that leadeth into captivity. Would you say you guys led a whole nation of people into captivity? <laughs> go ahead. Shall go into captivity. So the Bible says y'all led a whole nation into captivity. Therefore, you will go into captivity. Give me Galatians 6 and 7. Have you ever heard of a phrase called you reap what you sow? Yes, I have. So do you feel like there's an expiration date on that that uh that phraseology that that doctrine that ideology i do want you to know this if you reap what you sow so what are you sowing right now no 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 no, 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 no i'm sowing hate. hate all i'm doing is reading the bible, reading the bible. and then you're trying to box me in you're trying to box no, no, me no, no, in no, 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 and you said don't go to the old testament prophet. go to the new so testament remember, really prophet, what, you what, is, what does it mean to prophesy prophesy yeah you said i'm a false prophet have I have I prophesied up here? Yes, you are. You're what? You're going to murder all of the white people. I said that. You, you see how the white man is such a devil. Right. When did I say we got it on camera? When did I say that I'm going to murder all the white oh, people? Oh no, you said it's, it's from the Bible. You said that you have the right to murder. I, I said that. that. He's a liar. You see that? Oh, give me John. Know. Give me John eight and forty four. You know what? I'm Let me show. You. I know God you, Brandon. Brandon, I know you, I know you, and I know your father. You're your father of God. Go ahead. John 8, John 8, 44. And I hope that you will see the light. Go ahead. Wait, wait, wait. Does God love me? Does God love me? I wish I could say the same for you. Go ahead. John 8, 44. John 8, 44. 